Hello Internet and welcome to another episode of Basil Smart. Yay. Now, um, yeah, so um, hopefully you saw the last episode. Um, we've got this new team and um, again we kind of split it, you know, 1-1 one, one in the last episode. Um, you know, our last opponent had a, a pretty poor rating actually, but he played pretty well. Um, Scarf Tapu Lele is maybe a little bit of a problem for this. Um, I did mention as well, I think, I do think the... the the weak link in this team is Gyarados, actually. I think that needs to be something a little bit faster. Um, just because Scarfed, um, you know, even at plus one, Scarfed Tapu Lily without speed it. Um, Arcanine, which I want my water type for, um, can outspeed it and, um, you know, wild charge it as well. Um, all that kind of stuff. But um, let's get into this battle because we've got um, an opponent from the United Kingdom, I think that said. And... Um, Delmise looks really good here, aside from the Arcanine and I suppose the uh, the Lapras. But um, how should we go about this? Um, maybe like a Tapu Lele Garchomp lead or a Tapu Lele Arcanine. I think Arcanine is a problem for this team. I think this is um, becoming apparent to me. So um, yeah, maybe I need to make a few tweaks with this team. But um, but still, you know, we'll we'll play. You know some uh, uh some games with it and um see what we can what we can do i mean this is just a bit of a um a test around i suppose for a bit of fun isn't it but um hmm if he went with his tapu lele i wouldn't be able to fake anything out um aside from the uh, you know the aerodactyl but it would boost my shattered psyche so maybe i want raichu and maybe incineroar um Or maybe Tapu Lele. Maybe I want to go with my Tapu Lele just because he's probably going to be going with his... Um, you know what? Butterfree, we ignored you in the last video. We want you now. Um, and I'm not actually taking my Delmise. Um, because we are going with Butterfree, I want something extra for that Garchomp as well. So I've got my own Scarf Tapu Lele here um, with a Moonblast. You know, as long as it's not an Assault Vest, uh, Garchomp should do pretty well against it. Um, yeah. In the last episode, um, we just didn't take Butterfree, did we? Um, but, come on Butterfree, you're going to do some work in this video. I'm sure you are. Fingers crossed. <laughs> Who have we got then? So, Tapu Lele Arcanine, I think, would be the worst, one of the worst case scenarios for me. Okay, I don't mind that too much. Um, it's like we're back in 2014, isn't it, with Aerodactyl Garchomp? Um, Hmm, I mean, his Aerodactyl could be going for a Tailwind. It could just go straight for a, um, a Rock Slide, though, too. I've got Tapu Lele and Incineroar in the back. Um, what is his Guard Jump going to do? I mean, it could Earthquake, but then, then my Butterfree is safe, isn't it? Yeah. You know, I'm going to go for a fake out into the Aerodactyl, and I'm going to go for my own Tailwind here. If he goes for an Earthquake and knocks out my Raichu, which I think he probably is going to, then um, we'll try and um, wiggle around. But actually, is this Tapu Lele coming in? It is Tapu Lele coming in, but um, Aerodactyl, you know, you can't just sort of put your toe on the floor. It's not grounded. Um, I can still fake this out. And that was the reason why I did go for the fake out into the flying target as well. I'm not sure he really needed to do that. Um, but he did, and we are going to take advantage of it, because uh, any sash on the Aerodactyl is broken now as well. Uh, we have got the Tailwind up, I can just go straight for a Thunderbolt into the Aerodactyl. If he brings in his Garchomp, then good for him, um, but uh, I can put this Tapu Lele to sleep now. Remember, Sleep Powder is 97% accurate, so <laughs> um, it should be hitting. He doesn't actually withdraw the um, Aerodactyl, so... Um, Unless this is a, a sp an especially bulky Aerodactyl, which it isn't, um, it's going to be going down. And the Sleep Powder, yeah, okay. So he is not even he's not even trying to make any switches now. He could have brought in his Guard Jump. Um, if he did, I could have obviously, you know, still had more tails of uh, more turns of Tailwind. Uh, I could have put it to sleep. I would have had a uh, Psychic Train boosted Chattered Psyche potential as well. Um, so you know, 
not going to count any chickens just yet, obviously, because um, we're only a couple of turns in, and the Tapula Lake can wake up next turn. Uh, Guard Shot might be Assault Vest after all, it might uh, have a Focus Sash on it, you never know. Um, I've got my Tapu Lele in the back though, so I'm not as threatened by his Garchomp as I could be. Um, obviously the uh, Tapu Lele helps my Incinero out as well um, for, for Garchomp. Garchomp business. Um, Tapu Lele can wake up though. Garchomp is... I think the Garchomp might protect here. So I'm going to go for a Thunderbolt just to get some damage into the Tapu Lele and go for a Sleep Powder into the Garchomp. If the Garchomp doesn't protect, well if it doesn't protect it's going to sleep, um, yeah okay so we know it's not Assault Vesta now, it might be Focus Sash which could be an issue, um, we have got Encore on this Raichu as well so we can still do that too but this Tapu Lele could become a threat if it wakes up, which it does, and it does go for a Psychic into the Butterfree I would assume, okay so first turn wake, um, can't complain about first turn wakes, they do happen, you know, a third of the time, oh it's actually Life Orb, a Thunderbolt might even take that Tapu Lele out here. Um, yeah, it really might. But I'm not sure I want to risk it. So, I'm going to go for the Encore onto the Garchomp and a Sleep Powder onto the uh, Tapu Lele because Tailwind is about to finish. And doing this means that um, unless he gets another first turn wake and the Thunderbolt doesn't knock out the Tapu Lele next turn, I will be able to uh, get Tailwind up again. So here we go, you know, this is Raichu, um, Raichu Butterfree doing what it does best, really. This this is the new Lipid Breloom. You know, in 2014, I liked using um, Raichu quite a lot, didn't I? Um, with Azumarill, but uh, unfortunately, no Azumarill this time. Okay, so he's asleep, um, he's on cord, Tailwind has worn off. And so we're going to go for a Thunderbolt into the Tapu Lele, and we're going to Tailwind. Now, hopefully... Hopefully this Thunderbolt knocks the Tapu Lele out. If it doesn't, he needs a first turn wake. So I'm, I think, well, I'm, the odds are in my favour. Um, four things to go well for me this turn, but um, you never know. It's not, you know, it's it's not one hundred percent by any means. What's he gonna do then? I mean, I didn't go for the Shattered Psyche into the Guard Chomp um, on the turn I encored, just because I'm just a little bit worried about a potential Focus Sash. Uh, I am aware that the Psychic Terrain is ending, so, um, you know, I won't have that bomb um, potential maybe next turn if that's when it finishes, but but still. Thunderbolt does actually knock the Tapu Lele out, which is fantastic. Uh, Guard Chomp did stay in there to um, protect again for some reason, and um, we got the Tailwind again, and... I'm pretty sure this is just going to be a sweep of, um, you know, Raichu Butterfree. So, I'm glad I brought Butterfree. Uh, I, I, I nearly didn't as well. Maybe that's where I went wrong. Uh, I, I went I went wrong. <laughs> went wrong in the last episode. Um, didn't take Butterfree, did I? Um, okay, so Metagross could bullet punch here. Um, I'm not out of the water just yet. But I have got a Scarf Tapu Lele and I have got... Um, an Incineroar in the back, so I should be alright. Uh, Garchomp, I'm pretty sure it did successfully protect, didn't it, that turn. Um, but even still, I'm going to go for a Shattered Psyche into the Garchomp. Um, because that will break any sort of Sash. And then Tapu Lele can come in and Moonblast it for the knockout. Um, Butterfree, if he does have Bullet Punch um, and knocks me out, I really don't mind. Um, it would just let me get a free switch in, basically, so... If anything, I'd actually like him to, to bullet punch my Butterfree here. Because Butter, Butterfree has done its job now. So he does try and protect there. Um, no bullet punches. I suppose, um, yeah, it would have been risky. I was going to say, I suppose I could have brought in Tapu Lele if I, was, if I really was expecting a bullet punch. But uh, it would have been too risky and um, really not worth it. So um, Shattered Psyche, um, even if he did manage to get the double protect there, um, would mean that it would still take some damage, but uh, instead he's taking a nice sort of 80% and Sleep Powder does go through. So yeah, the game the game is won at this point, so um, it's, it's just a, um, a matter of 
of getting it done now, isn't it, really? So I'll Psychic the Garchomp. I don't need to Encore it again. I mean, he could Protect. Um, he could Protect the Garchomp and maybe Earthquake with Metagross to knock out Raichu, but even still... Yeah, yeah, I'm not going to bring in Incineroar, just on the off chance that he does have Earthquake. You know, if he protects the Garchomp and Earthquakes, I don't want to throw away the game like that. I know I have got the game 100% with, um, yeah, with what I've got in the back. Um, but there you go, that's Raichu and Butterfree doing some work, doing the business in uh, game one. So we look for another game, and hopefully we can start actually climbing this. <laughs> how many times? How many times have I said? Hopefully we can start climbing this battle spot ladder. But um, sort of flopped and failed in the second game. Um, either to, you know, one thing or another. A Scarf Tapu Lele or something. Okay, so here we go then. Let's get into another game. So, yeah, we didn't get to see Delmise um, in that game, unfortunately. But, um, yeah, or Gyarados. But, uh, like I'm saying, I mean, I think... I think... Um, I do think Gyarados is probably the weakest link in this team. So we find someone from the United States with a very standard looking team and, an, uh, yeah, and his own Raichu. Um, it's always awkward when they've got a Raichu as well because uh, speed ties and everything. I like to think that if they've got a Raichu and a Tapu Koko, maybe they're going to go modest with their Raichu and so it's not a speed tie. But, uh, you know, that, that is, that's, that's just a thought that one could have. Um, otherwise, what are we going to do? Um, Raichu, Tapu Lele. Raichu, Butterfree. Because I am worried about his Raichu. I actually am worried about his Raichu. Hmm. Okay. You know what? We're going to go Raichu Butterfree again. And Tapu Lele. And Incineroar again. I think this is the same four that we used in the last game. Um, but I feel like these are probably the best to go forward here. We will see if um, if that feeling was correct. Um, in a few turns time, I suppose. So here we go then. Let's see, Tapu Koko Raichu, right then. And, uh, like, the annoying thing is, um, you know, one thing that isn't so good about Butterfree having the flying typing is I can't bring in my um, Tapu Lele and stop it from, uh, you know, receiving a fake out, unfortunately. But, um, you know, is his Raichu going to go for a fake out into my Raichu, would he really do that? Else I can just go for a Shattered Psyche into his Tabakoko. Which is what I'm going to do. And I'm going to protect Butterfree here. So you would expect to fake out into the Butterfree, surely. Neither of his Pokemon really threaten my Raichu too much. And um, unless this Tabakoko is... Um, you know... If it's got a Focus Sash or if it's got an Assault Vest, then it'll, it'll take this. Otherwise, whew, good, yeah. Otherwise, it should be going down. So, fingers crossed. Let's see how this works. I mean, even if the um, Tapu Koko survives this, Raichu will be faster. Like I was saying in uh, the last episode, I don't have a Tapu Koko on my team, but I can take advantage of other people's um, you know, electric terrain with my own Raichu, and, um, yeah, it's going down slowly, but, um, there you go, we've got the knockout, so, that is, that is a perfect turn, I suppose, um, his, he can, like, when I bring in my Tapu Lele, um, he cannot get his electric terrain anymore, so, uh, I can start putting things to sleep, we'll see, he, I guess he needs to bring something in here that's faster than Butterfree as well, he actually brings in his own Tapu Lele, um, so he can just double into, my um, Butterfree now to knock it out, but I could, I could if I wanted to be slightly risky, um, try and go for an Encore onto his Raichu, you know, going over the theory that he's got a Tapu Koko, his Raichu might be modest, um, so my Raichu is timid, I'll be faster, um, even if he is timid, 
I could win the speed tie as well. Um, and I think, how am I? Do I really want to do that? Do I really want to play that risky? I've got Tapu Lele and I've got Incineroar in the back. Um, so yes, I do want to play that risky. <laughs> so we're going to Ronko the Raichu here and go for a Tailwind. Let's see. Is he modest? Did we win a speed tie? Well, he's got a Scarf Tapu um, Lele. And, okay, so we either won a speed tie or he is modest. Um, you know, one of the two. And um, so he's, he's locked into Fake Out now, but we've got the Tailwind up. Scarf Tapu Lele is so common now. And I suppose I can see why, because I'm using one myself. And, uh, yeah, that's what my opponent thought of that. So, um, there we go. So, fantastic. We've actually won two games. Uh, because we are only 16 minutes in. And, um, you know, I'm feeling generous. Let's uh, let's do another game. Hmm. Alright then, so, uh, yeah, I can't remember what his rating was. But at least, we, at least we got some points from that. Let's try and pick some music. And um, let's see who we get. Let's see who our next and final opponent will be for today. So, uh, yeah, you know, looking at this rating, I, I keep I keep drawing your attention to this rating. I really shouldn't because it's, it's a terrible rating. But, um, yeah, I'm using the London team, wasn't I, before, uh, before Christmas and didn't go too well. But uh, I do like this team. I mean, it's it's not completely solid, as you can probably see, but it's interesting. I like it. It's fun as well. And, you know, when a world's invite is, um, you know, not really within reach anymore, uh, having fun, I suppose, is the most important thing. But what have we got then? Katana is a bit of a threat to this team too, to be honest. Um, I'm going to lead the same there. I'm going to go with Raichu Butterfree. So this is this is the Raichu Butterfree episode. Uh, but I'm going to do that because... Oh, or do I want to do that? I suppose, like, if he leads um, if he leads Katana and Tapu Lele, I won't be able to fake out. He'll be able to double target my Butterfree, but I would still be able to get a Shattered Psyche onto his... onto his Katana there, so... I don't know, it could be Assault Vest, it could be Focus Sash as well. I think we will go with these two, though, and I do want my Tapu Lele again. And just because he's got the Celesteela, I think I do want the Incineroar here as well. Yeah, so same four Pokemon, all three games. Let's go. Let's do it. Against um, Mr. Italian Name. <laughs> Alright then. So yeah, worst case scenario, I suppose, is Tapu Lele and Katana lead. Okay, so we've got Garchomp and Tapu Koko. Well, don't mind that too much. We've got Raichu and Butterfree. Um, Garchomp, I suppose, is the bigger threat here. So yeah, what I'm going to do is... Well, I could go for a, a, a fake out into the Garchomp. The worry is if he switches his Tapu Koko into his Tapu Lele, um, but if he does do that, Garchomp can't knock out my Butterfree because i got a Focus Sash. Worst case scenario there is he um, Rockslide flinches me, I suppose. So I am going to go for the Fake Out into the Garchomp, and I am going to go for a Tailwind here, because that means uh, I'll be faster, I'll be able to bring in my Tapu Lele, I'll be able to put things to sleep. Um, Tapu Koko might go for a Discharge, that's, oh, it just protects. Okay. Well, I'm fine with that. Maybe he was going for an earthquake then. Okay, Ruskin. So, not um, Sandvale. Flashbacks of 2012 Sandvale. And we get the Tailwind. So, Tailwind, Butterfree, you are doing some major work this game. Um, in this whole video, really, too. Um, I could Encore the Tapu Koko. But I don't want to. I could Shattered Psyche the Garchomp as I bring in my Tapu Lele. Or I could bring in Tapu Lele for Raichu and put something to sleep. And I think that's what I'm going to do. 
going to bring in Tapu Lele and put the um, Tapu Coco to sleep. If he goes for a Rock Slide, fair enough. Um, don't think he'll Poison Jab into the Raichu slot. Um, but I'm putting the Tapu Coco to sleep because I don't want it to discharge and paralyze either of my Pokemon. Okay, so Sleep Powder hits. 97% accurate, you know. And let's see what the guard jump's going to do then. It's Stone Edges, okay. Okay, well, I'd better that than um, Rock Slide, I suppose, because Tapu Lily doesn't take any damage. So, now I can put the Guard Chomp to sleep if I if I wanted, um, or I could just Moonblast the Guard Chomp and knock it out. Um, I'm actually going to sidekick the Tapu Coco here and Sleep Powder the Guard Chomp. Um, yeah, he's not got anything in the back that can take a, um, a Sleep Powder at this point. I'm going to Sleep Powder the Guard Chomp. Um, I think a sidekick... In Psychic Terrain has a chance to one-shot Tapu Koko if it's not very bulky, but we'll see. It actually does, yeah. And the Garchomp does go to sleep, and um, we have locked into Psychic and not Moonblast, so this will be a 2-hit KO onto the Garchomp, but uh, I think I think just keeping the pressure of um, you know putting everything to sleep is hopefully going to work out for us here. Again, he's lost his Tapu Koko now, so whatever he brings in can just go to sleep here. He's taking his time. And it's Tapu Lily. Okay. So Tapu Lily can go to sleep. And, I mean, I could withdraw my Tapu Lily into something. But I would think that surely the Garchomp has got to knock out the um, the Butterfree, hasn't it? So I'm gonna I'm just gonna psychic into the Garchomp and Sleep Powder the Tapu Lily. Worst case scenario, the Tapu Lily maybe protects the Garchomp, gets a first turn wake, knocks out the Butterfree. Um, but if that does happen, I'm expecting Psychic two two hit KO the Garchomp, which it looks like it's going to. Yeah. So worst case scenario. Worst case scenario? Okay. Well, I didn't expect that one. Okay, so we didn't get poisoned there. Um, okay, well, worst case scenario almost happened. I mean, that could be worse, actually, what's just happened than him just knocking out the Butterfree. We've got Raichu, we've got Incineroar in the back. Hmm. Now, we know that his guard jump can protect. But I feel like I've got to... I mean, I'm just scared about um, this Tapu Lele being faster than Butterfree and Dazzling Gleaming. But I am just going to sleep harder, I think, the Tapu Lele. I'm thinking I should be protecting the Butterfree here. Is this still a Steeler coming in? No, it's Katana. Okay, well, it's, it's not going to appreciate this. Yeah. It actually takes it down to its focus sash. So we know that it's not a scarfed. And it is. Okay. Um, so if we if we protected Butterfree there, I don't think we really would have got anything from that because um, Butterfree would still be slower than everything the next turn. But we do know that the Katana is not scarfed or anything like that. Um, so Raichu will be faster. And... Um, hmm, will Raichu be able to knock out Garchomp? I think that's... Maybe going to be the, the issue here. Uh, we've not used our Z move yet, so I think we should be okay with that, actually. Um, I'm just going to sidekick the Katana here then and go for a Flare Blitz into the Tapu Lily, I guess. I couldn't fake out here. And um, Incineroar is slower, obviously, than the Tapu Lily. Okay, you double protect. I'm not sure why he did that, because I can't fake out. I am in Psychic Terrain. And I'm pretty sure in this game we've shown Encore, haven't we? Um, maybe we haven't. I'm not sure. But I do need to make sure that Katana doesn't attack. 
because that is the one thing that can one shot my Raichu, and my Raichu is the key to winning this game. So, I'm going to sidekick the Katana. I haven't got any choice about that. And, again, just Flare Blitz into the Tapu Lele. So, no Encores. Let's see what happens. It's going to be a close one, this. Substitute? Okay. So, Darkest Larry, I suppose, would have been a little bit better there, but... Um, because, uh, you know, the, the recoil, basically. But, again, we can encore that, but we do need, like I've been saying, I need the Raichu to, to knock out the guard jump, and we do know the guard jump can protect as well. It's just, I'm not, I don't think, like, a Moonblast from his Tapu um, Lele is going to knock out my Incineroar, so I think I'm okay here. I do think I'm okay here. So, it's time for the Shattered Psyche. Onto the guard jump. And we are just going to go for a Darkest Lariat now into the Tapu Lele, I think. Or do we Flare Blitz it? Because if he attacks, it's a, um, a Darkest Lariat might not knock it out, but I think a Flare Blitz will from here. So we are, we are going to Flare Blitz again. So here we go. Raichu, doing the business. You are going to knock this uh, Guard Jump out. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty. I'm, I'm hoping. <laughs> I'm just worried that it's like a, a random assault vest now, and um, I mean, it, it might be assault vested. We have lost a psychic terrain. That went down too slow for comfort. And he's got his own Z move, so he's going for his own shattered psyche here into. Um, well, it has to be into my uh, my right you, hasn't it? Because. My cat is a very dark cat. So, yeah, and this is why I went for the um, uh, the Flare Blitz and not the Darkest Lariat, because if Darkest Lariat didn't knock it out, um, oh, it hasn't even knocked Raichu out, then um, like maybe a, a Moonblast critical hit could knock the um, Incineroar right next to it, maybe. That's what I'm thinking. Well, there we go. Three games, and uh, I feel like you know, we've, although you know our, our opponents haven't been massively highly ranked or anything, um, we've actually won some games, and um, you know it's all about winning, isn't it? So, uh, <laughs> so uh, there we go. I hope you guys enjoyed um, this video. Uh, you know, please like and share and do all that lot. Um, you know, if you have, if you have enjoyed, it, obviously, thank you very much, guys, and goodbye for now.